One million. Our little family has grown to one million. I, I can't, <laughs> I can't even, how could we have grown to that amount in this amount of time? I, it's incredible. And I know it's been a long time since I've had the chance to update you guys. I actually kind of got into a little bit of a cycling accident a couple of weeks ago. So I took some time off to heal and to rest. But before that happened, I had filmed a video that I wanted to share with you guys like three or four weeks ago. I didn't get around to editing it, but I kind of want to share that with you now. We have the keys to the studio space. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I have been looking for a place to work out of for over the last three months. And when we finally found the place that, you know, we, we fell in love with, it was gonna be our studio space. We had to wait for it to finish being built, but it's now done, which means we can start moving in. Okay. I feel like I should first welcome you to our bedroom. And I know that might sound weird that there's plates and cups and bowls and things like that in our bedroom, but it's just because we don't have room for it anywhere else. So when I first moved to the Netherlands, it was like October of 2016, and I was actually living with Robin in his student room, which was 10 square meters. So the two of us were living in a 10 square meter space, which is ridiculously small, but I had this vision that I wanted to start pickup lines, and I didn't feel like I had the space I needed to do that, but I had to work with what I had. I knew I couldn't necessarily film in that small space and we didn't have a kitchen that we could work with. So I figured that during that time, what I would do is I would create the Pickup Lines website. And during that time, we were hunting for like an apartment that we could move to. I wasn't making an income and Robin had just started his PhD, so he kind of had to support both of us during that time. So finally, in like January or something of 2017, we found the apartment that we're currently living in, and that's when I started making videos for pickup lines. And it was really exciting, and I was just so glad to have a space that I could work from. So it was an upgrade from the 10 square meters, but a 40 square meter apartment is still relatively small. And our kitchen is incredibly small, and I think sometimes I've had people even message if I had a kitchen like that, I would totally be able to create videos like this. And I think you guys see these certain kitchens in some of the videos, but those are either my sister's kitchen, my mom's kitchen, Robin's mom's kitchen. They're actually not ours. You've actually never seen our kitchen. In fact, I don't know, I'll just show you. This is our kitchen. And the space right here is pretty much all I ever have to work with when I'm chopping vegetables. Right here, what you don't see off screen is a fridge and a stove, but it's also a microwave combination. Let me show you. Right there, that's it. See what I mean? <laughs> it's not it's not much to work with. So I've been making do with what I can with the space that we have available, like just filming in various corners, but I feel like I've just used all the space I can, including putting a shelving unit like this in our bedroom. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes. All right, let's go to the studio. It's gonna be completely empty, so don't get your hopes up too much, but uh, you're just gonna see the progression of it as we continue to get the space ready. Let's go. setting up a camera on the car before. This isn't really working. Oh, you have to take this off. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. <laughs> Please help me. All right. And then now I can adjust this. <laughs> you did it! The engineer did it! Uh, you seem surprised. <laughs> Wait, the lens is dirty. There we go. This guy has been the most amazing support person for the entirety of my time being here. He's teaching me how to speak Dutch, he's driving me around because for 10 years in Canada, I've had my driver's license, but here, I can't legally drive. Because also in Europe, everyone drives a uh, standard with a stick, and I drive automatic, so that means he, for now, for the time being, he has to chauffeur me around and uh, help me with dropping off all the stuff at the studio and buying all the furniture and things like that, so. So, some more little fun facts about the studio space. Frank, who's the name of the guy who built this, he's amazing. 
all of the stuff here he made from recycled material or at least as much as he could like let me show you these wooden planks came from a canal here in Eindhoven these brick floors came from the train station in Amsterdam this bench was just made using recycled wood and doors like this one were made using reused metal sheets okay 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 are you ready are you ready are you ready I'm so excited we've already moved in some things so there are a couple of boxes and things like that, but... Okay, welcome. We'll start over here. Don't look that way yet. Okay, over here, I just want to give you guys this tour. You've already seen this large window behind me, which is really nice to have a whole bunch of natural light in here. And then over here, this is where we're going to be putting the kitchen. The pickup lens kitchen, which was, we kind of custom made it, which means we're going to have to wait like another month for that to be ready and for it to be installed, but I can't wait for you guys to see that. The colors and the plants, it's all gonna come together so incredibly nicely. All of the recipe video is kind of going forward once the kitchen is installed, it's going to be in this space. And if you're hearing an echo, it's just because the place is totally empty. I'm hoping that goes away when we get some furniture in here. So let's carry on to this corner over here. This corner is going to be our food photography corner when we make recipes for the blog. All of the kind of plates and bowls and cups and things like that that you saw me packing earlier, I'm going to put it along here. This, is, this space has the best natural light. It's not a direct light, but it's kind of like a, a diffused light, which is perfect for food photography. Now if we do a full turn, follow me, follow me, follow me. <laughs> here we go. So over here we're going to have the kitchen area, or sorry, the office area where myself and a couple other people are going to be working. We did find a Pickup Limes intern, by the way, so I'm really excited to introduce you to her when she comes to work with us in this space in about a month or two. And over here, we're going to have like a living room area um, with a couch and things like that. Just a lounge space, a hanging chair, loads of plants. I'm planning on making this whole space like a jungle of sorts. It's going to be really nice, I hope. And then back here, yeah, I've got some plans for it. Plans I'm not ready to share just yet, but you gotta keep some surprises for later. Place to put all the things that might not be so pretty. That's it, this is the space. Now you have an official tour of the Pickup Lime Studio. It's, it's obviously not much yet, and it's because we still have to get things and furnish it, but you've seen it from the beginning. And since filming that, like three or four weeks ago, a lot has happened, so let me update you. We did loads and loads of furniture hunting. We got the cutest pots and accessory items from secondhand shops. We made what feels like hundreds of trips up and down the stairs of the studio to drop things off. We loaded up the car with our new plant babies so that we could start creating our little jungle, and it might look like I overdid it on the plants, but I just feel like you can never have too many. And then it was time to bring in the kitchen. So I haven't been at the studio for a few days because I've been resting up my arm and my leg. But today's the first day I'm back and it's for a good reason. They're delivering the kitchen today. So the kitchen has arrived. That's what all of these boxes here are. All that's left is actually just setting this up, which is gonna be tomorrow, so we'll see you then. So the kitchen is being installed today and I'm like really, really excited, but I'm trying to like keep my cool as well because I've heard from so many people that when kitchens are newly installed, there's always something that goes wrong with it. So I'm hoping for the best, but I'm expecting some hiccups too. Are you ready to see the new Pickup Lines kitchen? Because, here it is, this is it. <laughs> this is pretty much exactly how I had imagined it and there were a few hiccups. I mean, we saw that coming, right? So let me just show you what those were. So, starting over here, these handlebars are really cute, but they are actually not the ones we ordered. We need to create a hole in the wall for this hood fan. We didn't know that when you get a kitchen, you've gotta get a plumber to come in separately, so there is no running water right now. Also, if you look back here, you'll see there's a big gap between where the countertop ends and where the wall begins. It turns out the wall is not totally straight, so we're gonna need to get like a strip along 
along the whole back. So aside from getting those things fixed, we just need to get a fridge and we're gonna hang a whole bunch of plants, obviously, across the whole back of the wall here. And then that's it. This is the Pickup Lens kitchen and now you get to see it before you see the rest of the space because the rest of the space, let me tell you, it's a mess. I'll give you a tour one day when it's ready. Just give me some time. Now fast forward a couple more days to when Pickup Limes reached one million subscribers. Robin's mom and some of our friends had come by to help me with organizing the space and I had no clue that some of our other friends were coming by to surprise us with this bike that they had fixed up and custom made especially for us. They even had Pickup Limes one million anniversary printed onto it in the Pickup Limes font and my knee was still kind of busted so I couldn't take it for a test run but Robin had the liberty of doing that for me. And this whole journey and this whole experience, it's just felt so surreal and it's because of you guys and you're nothing short of incredible and your comments and your support from the beginning have meant so much to me. And I would love more than anything to get to meet some of you guys. I'm actually gonna be giving a talk at the Berlin Vegan Food Festival on August 25th. So if there is any chance you're hanging out in the Berlin area around then, please, please come by, it's a free event. Come say hi, I think, yeah, it would just mean the world to me. And one more thing. I think that you guys have seen the videos we've posted here on the channel for the last year and a half, but what you might not know is I've actually been creating recipes and even recipe videos actually with my sister for I think it's been over four years at this point. Videos I haven't shared with anybody else. So the whole Pickup Limes idea and vision, it's been a dream in the making for quite a while now. So remember that the beautiful thing with starting small, with whatever your vision is, is that it's gonna encourage you to get creative and work with what you have. And remember that it's going to continue to grow and expand as you do, so just keep working at it. And thank you so much for always staying by my side as I've worked at it too. And I think I'm gonna get back to organizing the studio bit it's a bit of a mess but thanks a lot for watching thank you so much again for the one million you guys are absolutely incredible pickup limes signing off we'll see you in the next video